On to another one of the Supreme alumni, there's this interesting collaboration between J. Crew and Union LA. And I feel like this is a perfect example as to why some of these companies want to tap into streetwear folk who are essentially running the culture because like Tremaine mentioned in that supreme interview part of a creative director's role isn't just designing isn't just leading the team isn't just brainstorming isn't just you know ideating isn't just whatever it's mostly to do with your black book of contacts and if you're somebody that works in streetwear who's had you know a, a storied legacy a storied name you've got connections and blah 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 there are certain people in your black book that these brands could just not get access to and i know this because i've having worked in certain companies and certain startups where we've worked with certain people in streetwear i know how important it was for me to be in the role that I was in like a lot of people I was able to get booked on that online streetwear course that I was doing that was led by Virgil which is how I met him a lot of reason why I was able to get some of those people involved there was because I had a somewhat personal connection with the scene and maybe they have heard of me in the past they might have heard of my stop begging blog that I used to do back in the day but a lot of that stuff that I thought was really nothing and a bit silly maybe some of my life on the Crooked Tongues forum or just being a part of the quote-unquote London sneakerhead scene a lot of that went a long way to kind of allowing me to book certain people but then in a certain way I also saw the limits of my reach because certain people I just couldn't get access to because I didn't know who they were so I'm sure when J. Crew hired Noah Bababzian, um, obviously the founder of Noah, part of the reason why they hired him was just for things like this to get him to get him to maybe tap into his black book and maybe potentially get a collaboration with people like Union, who you'd assume the guy over Union, Chris Gibbs, is very selective and picky about who he works with because he's very aware of you know the clout and the cachet that he has with Union, but he's also super protective about it because the only reason that clout and cachet works is because he's very protective about it and he kind of guards it with his life. So the only way this collaboration could have happened is if Jake hired Noah Babson and this is why sorry Brenda Babson and this is why these collaborations or these appointments happen more often than not because these black books are super handy especially if you're a j crew and you're trying to tap into the gen z millennial market those guys have got them by you know got these guys in the palm of their hands so it only makes sense to kind of get them on board so a collaboration here with union um we've got some knits we've got some nice jackets we've got some sunglasses we've got some t-shirts leather jackets woolly hats nice sweatshirts um we've got some nice um suits as well in this nice check pattern and maybe some shoes also a chore jacket combination some great things overall and let's just read the article about it here it says grace gibbs and union um los angeles and j crew have led military to have joined forces the two designs longtime friends having first met in 1996 when gibbs began working part-time at supreme under babbage creative tenure see so yeah Be Be brenda babbage was maybe the first creative director really if you think about it that we kind of knew of and then obviously he went off to do noah and he's actually doing Noah at the same time he's at supreme then he stopped it then he left supreme and then restarted if i'm not mistaken he continued he said it just made sense chris is one of my close oldest friends and was also one of the people i call when i need advice he's as genuine as he's come as they come and i'm thrilled to have this opportunity to work with him a true individual which is great i think that's also something that goes to show that what i love about streetwear you could be long time friends with somebody and you could be put in a position of power and then you could also be in a position to put some money in your pockets put some money in the pockets of your close friend so you've been working in this industry for a while you've done a great amazing things together and you get a position where you could essentially hire them to do this amazing role and you could get them you know get get them to put some money in your pockets expand their fucking portfolio put their name out there again and just be you know a good mate i really like that kind of side about it where you can kind of give back to people who maybe helped you in the past in a big way like this um by giving these super commercial collaborations the collection shapes up because it might be the most collab is this might be the most commercial thing they've done outside of a nike union i'm not too sure but this is really up there so big up them the collection shakes up um a top shelf cocktail of j crew classics americana ethos um unions archetype of streetwear offering j crew signature a new lease of life the joint offerings gibbs um transforms the heritage brands time and silhouettes uh, okay so many words there for nothing it says yeah i didn't want to put graphics on everything that's never been my big thing says gibbs i decided to start to play with proportions drape and color through the lens of streetwear and high fashion gibbs and babbage put forth a knit program paying homage to j crew's prowess in the genre and asymmetrical shapes demand uh, made in distress up out of 
alpaca fleece textiles plaid fabrics drop their buttoned up personas for something more playful while a number of graphic tees and sweats adopt a collaborative um gibbs and, sorry gibbs and babian put forth a knit program paying homage to j crew's prowess in the genre where they should make typical shapes made with a distressed alpaca fleece textiles the, co the collection's hero however is the herringbone twill fabric which was made to look like denim in a nod to the workwear impact on the designers the material which gibbs said he discovered while vintage shopping in japan forms the lines of the chore jacket and pants set as well as the cap i am really proud of what we built it's subtle by nature we tried to make everything that could live organically in both um, j crew's doors and union's doors i think we did that the union and los angeles j crew collection is now available to shop in the union um la tokyo osaka and j crew bowery and online at both their web stores take a closer look available now so as you can see here you've got the chore jackets you've got the set which i like you've got the nice crew you've got this amazing knit and this jacket as well that this girl was wearing on the left hand side which might be my favorite it's a really nice jacket i wonder what the price is on this this bad boy let's actually see if we can go in union la oh wow the prices are really good actually aren't they the chore jacket is 298 the pants are 280 so you're essentially paying what 500 dollars for the top and the bottom which i think is pretty good because the quality on this is going to be really well really high i think they're going to look amazing too once they're worn in a little bit i like the look of those um the pajama set thing is 138 dollars for the top 128 for the pants the rugby polo jersey is really nice as well there's also a hat that goes with it. I don't see the leather jacket though, unfortunately. I don't see that leather. Maybe that leather is only available on, what you call it? Oh, that peanut in a wake stuff is really nice, actually. Uh, maybe that leather jacket is only available on the JQ website. But so far, I'm not really mad at the pieces. I think they look really, really tasty, to be fair. I'd wear the fuck out of all of this stuff. It's really, really good looking. So big up on them to putting a collaboration together. Again, another reminder, if ever you needed it, why some of these companies go out their way to tap into some of these streetwear folks because they have the culture in the palm of their hands they have the great black book and they can also you know essentially tap into some of it their history with their fans or with their people that they've worked with and be able to put these collections together in more ways than other people could so big up j crew big up union can't wait to see more for them going forward can't wait to see more from them going forward